hey everyone this video we are going to talk about very interesting topic if you are using if you are creating microservices with spring boot and for ide if you are using intellij ide community version this is going to be very helpful for you let's say i have uh, i have created i have uh, this setup build.gradle where specific dependencies are there right and i have to work with the configuration where i have to specify the port where i have to specify the database connection where i have to specify other configuration related to kafka ssl and all sort of thing so i have to mention those in the properties file all right like server port i have mentioned let's say i want to config ssl related properties so if i type something server and control plus space so what i assume it should give me some auto suggestion but it is saying that no suggestion found so what is the alternate like i have to go to the documentation and copy paste all the properties that i needed other way is i can remember i can recall those and type it manually both of these option are not feasible but uh, if there is no resort we have to do it right and uh, how how do i get the suggestion here first option is go for the paid option if you want to use the paid version this feature will come automatically you will be able to see the auto recommendation here when you press control uh, control plus space but still like if you are not using paid version in community version you are stuck with it application properties cannot give you the auto suggestion so what what is the alternate that we can do so on the same line that we have dot properties file we have dot yaml file dot configuration uh for the same configuration so spring boot provides a uh, support for that as well so what you can do whatever dot properties file you have you can just uh, create the same file in yaml or this yaml both are going to work so make sure that your file name is correct so that application system can read it right application dot yaml the moment you have created it you can go ahead and remove this one so i do not need it because on the same line it will work for me so application yaml uh, so i can ignore the extension for now uh, so the same properties if i have to mention it, let's say server dot port server port 8082 i want to mention it i can i can give it this way so it gives me this hierarchical thing hierarchical readability of the configuration first of all which makes it more readable so all server related uh, configuration port related uh, configuration port ssl uh, let's say i have to specify another property that starts with server so i don't have to type server again i just have to type ssl here that is here enabled true so this is how server dot port server dot ssl dot enable it comes into picture so this is the one benefit of yaml another benefit is like that uh, auto complete feature auto complete that was not with the properties file in the community version but in this yaml i can get that uh, auto complete how to do get, how to get that go to settings here you will see the plugin section uh, in this one type here spring boot assistant uh, just make sure that you are in the marketplace section not the installed section install this plugin spring boot assistant okay this is installed click okay uh, apply and okay now you can see that the moment i have installed that spring boot assistant there might be need if uh, it is not working out you can restart your id in the worst case but in my case it has picked things automatically so you see that icon with the yaml it has uh, that that icon has come that uh, uh, that that is already there okay so now if i have to type anything so now if i press control plus space i can see all the auto recommendation enable bundle certificate and all sort of thing if i go back here i have to specify any other configuration like related to kafka i just have to type the keyword of that property spring dot kafka it is giving me on below it can it can give me all other uh, thing that i have to mention like properties listener all sort of thing that i have to give so where this come from this is coming from the build dot gradle config like whatever dependency that you have given i have given spring kafka so there is a respective auto configurations file from where these are coming 
if i have database dependencies in here i should be able to see the database related dependency here if i type here as of now i won't be able to see that uh, actually it is it is coming database because these these things are coming from the uh, from this starter web actually that auto configuration file is already there so i can see from there so now see this magic so this is what i wanted to show if you are using spring boot community version try using yaml instead of properties file you will see this awesome uh, awesome feature of auto completion that will really make life easy okay that's all about this video if you want to see more intellij tips and tricks this is the playlist where i have put more videos around this one and many many more videos i am going to upload on this one like uh, most mostly uh, shortcuts about that can make uh, coding a lot easier uh, so must must have shortcuts and other intellij uh, intellij ide specific tips and tricks i am going to come up with that one so do do check out this playlist also and if you like this content please subscribe the channel and like this video share this with your friends thank you see you in the next one bye bye